Hello. I'm looking for Father Doyle. Well, you have found him. How may I be of service? You came down from Cambridge in search of a story. I'm Dominic Mears. I'm a publisher. I'm researching a book for an author friend of mine. Perhaps you've heard these stories. It would appear you have a wasted journey, Mr. Mears. There are no stories here. This is God's house. Stories of evil? Journeys into the underworld? See this? It's all a facade. I didn't come here because of one story. I came here because of the facts. A farm near here is in crisis, and yet you do nothing about it. I am protecting my faith. Lost souls who are searching for God. They can be seen in plain sight here in this church, and yet you do nothing about them. Tales of the supernatural. I keep coming back to the same place. Then I hear stories of your church. The myths. I need to expose them. In plain sight, you say, Mr. Mears. This peaceful place of worship is a coven for the devil. There are myths. Distorted. They hold no truth. For they are, as you so eloquently say, just stories. Go well, my son. Father, I too have heard these stories. I... Don't trouble yourself. Go about your work. Excuse me, sir. The service is over, and I must kindly ask that you move along. Do you believe the stories? As Father Doyle said, they're just stories. Are they? I must insist. Ah! Your mind, priest! faith, priests, your belief in God. God is all around us. His power is absolute. <laughs> Relax. I'm not here for you. Not yet. I seek a vessel less connected to God, more easily manipulated. You cannot have him. Your effort is noted, priest, but you are weak. The boy is mine! And I shall deal with you on my return.
And after all I've done for you. But you have begun to lose your faith. These last few days. I have been... In here. For a very long time. And I've seen everything. <laughs> Do you think he loves you, God? No. He's far too busy. I have taken my faith. Faith? Don't talk to me about your faith. I have seen your thoughts. I've lived them. Then I'm afraid your lust betrays you, priest. You have lost your belief. In him! And he only cares about himself, not some pathetic little follower! For that's all you are, priest. You're just a follower of... him. What do you want with me? I need to perform... a ritual. And you, priest... Oh, you are going to assist me. I cannot... do that. I'm a man. Of God. God is dead! God is burning in hell for his sins. And you, priest. Oh, you have sinned as well. So, read! Never. Said with such passion, I said. Julia Kaskin. I'm here to see Dominic Mears. He'll be with you in a few minutes. Can I take your coat? And that's Kate, Dominic's wife. She's been our best-selling author up until now. Send her through. Dominic's trying to get her sectioned. She's on her second mental breakdown. This way. Do you know how many unsolicited manuscripts I get every year? I have no idea. 
hundreds. I rarely read the first few pages. I have this nasty little habit of writing my response on the title page. This one, for example. Embarrassing, meaningless, crap. Mm. Rubbish. Like 99.9% .9 of the rest. And then there's your book. Dazzling. Haunting. Unpredictable. Poignant. Cool. Compelling. Stimulating. Sensual. Tragic. Brutal. Passionate. Involving. And true. Would you like some tea? Thank you, thank you. We publishers have a technical term for a discovery like this. We call it a fucking brilliant book. <laughs> well, I'm pleased you like it. Have you shown this to anyone else? No. Then there is a God. Each and every one of them thinks they have a book inside them. But only one in a million actually does. You are one in a million. No, I'm not. I mean, I haven't finished it yet. <sighs> yeah, there is the small matter of the final chapter. Well, I don't think that's a laughing matter. No. Quite. But you will finish it, I'm sure. And when you do, it would give me the greatest honor if you'd let me publish it. Now, deadlines. No, oh, that sounds ominous. Well, I have the printing schedule to do the, uh, the cover design and so on. And I can't do any of that until you get in the last chapter. So I need a date. Can I just call you? And it's done? It doesn't work like that. That is why we have to do something about your writer's block. We? Come up to the coast and you'll crack it in no time. It's inspiring. You'll feel free to be creative. And what about your wife? How is she going to feel about me coming up to your cozy little place on the coast? We, uh, we split up. A month ago. You're reading much more into this than you need to. All I'm interested in is getting that last chapter in the can. Whatever, the, the answer's still no. You're gonna have to trust me on this. I know a thing or two about writer's block. It's part of my job to help my authors get through it. No, I, I can handle it. Yeah, but can you beat it? I... Exactly. I'm your publisher. I have a duty of care for you now, and I'm telling you, a fresh environment will do you good. Well, I don't know. Just, Just for the weekend, come to the coast. See how you get on. This has just all happened so fast. I need time to think. Well, if that's your attitude. Are you away? Don't tell me this is the first time you've been to Cambridge. Yes, as it happens. Sarah, will you hold on my calls for me? 
I'm going out for a spell with my new author. came out the coma, the doctor warned you this could happen. It crashed. It just happened. It was nine years ago, Julia. You're sick. Nine years and two months to be precise. This is just some grotesque charade. No. You've drugged me. You've brought me here to this place. We survived the crash. And you've, you've held me here as prisoner. This is what all this is about. I'm gonna call the police. Wait, Julia. Don't touch me! No! No way! You've made all this up. And you're screwing with my mind. No. I'm not. Just relax, okay? This, this is our, this is our honeymoon in Iceland. It was a year after the crash. It's real. Maybe this is real, okay? Take a look at your legs if you don't believe me. There's a titanium plate in there. You could have lost it. It's okay. It's gonna be all right. I'm gonna call Dr. Gill, okay? Okay?
You're worth more to me dead than alive. You must take on the pain of each and every soul. She lost ten years of her life. So have you. Let me go, you servant of the devil. <laughs> I'm afraid not. I must complete my ritual. You must accept each and every soul that I send you. Do not resist. It will only hurt you more if you do. Hey babe. Hey. Listen, I am. Um, I need to tell you something. Mama, really... no. No, just just listen to me, okay? I know. Uh, Millie, will you just listen? I've got Dad's something. Dead. What? How would you know? Did Did Tanya tell you? No. What? What? How How do you know that? Look, can I just go to bed, please? Yeah. Yeah. Go to bed. Come on, go to bed. We'll talk in the morning. How could you leave us, Brian? What's she going to do without you, eh? Thank you. 
Hey, what are you doing? Can I go? What? Can I go? Well, yeah, go on then. Yes, Dad, Dad, I'm coming. What? I'm coming, Daddy. Dad, Daddy, I'm coming Daddy, with you. I'm coming about? with you. Yes, I'm coming Daddy. with you. Please stop coming. it. What are you doing? Daddy, let me go to bed. Oh, well, go on then. Millie. Millie. Millie, stop it. Are you okay? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Do you want a cuddle? I want to sleep. Okay. I was just going to say, I know Good it's. Night. Night, babe. Millie, you asleep? Millie, you you okay? Millie, what are you doing down here? Mum, can I go to bed, please? I'm tired. Yeah, of course you can. Come on. Can I go? What did you said? Can Millie come with me? What? I want Millie to come with me. What are you saying? I want Millie to come with me. How the hell did you do that?
Who's there? Who's there? I think I am. This is no place to be lost. There's strange things up in those woods. Look, I don't want any hassle. I just came here to walk. Did you hear that? You came here to walk. Yeah. Now, we've all seen deliverance. I just came here to get some things off my chest. So, if I'm on private land, I'm sorry, and I'll go. You're going nowhere. This is where you belong. Yeah, yeah, right here. With us. Now, wait a minute. I just came here to walk. Joseph, let him be. He just came here to walk, so let him walk. Now, be on your way. Don't worry about these two. Too much alcohol. while you still can. Stick to the path. You don't know what you've let yourself in for. Mary, what have I told you about talking to strangers? Get over here, right now. Get over here now. Just go, and don't look back. you. Everybody gets lost out here. <laughs> no one's gonna find you now. Will they, Michael? How do you know my name? 
You just don't get it, do you, Michael? Stop calling me Michael. Who the hell are you? What's going on? Just think, Michael. Think. I came here to de-stress my life, to find out about myself, who I am. <laughs> Did you now? Think, Michael! I don't want to think. Get out of my way! What are you going to do? You're all alone. Your phone is dead. <laughs> There's no one around. No one to hear you scream. Just leave me alone. Get the fuck out of my way! <laughs> You can kill me, Michael. That's right. Kill me! to kill him. He wanted it. I just wanted to go on my way. Wait! I'm already dead, Michael. But then again, so are you. Welcome to hell! Lost, are we? Yeah, I think I am. <sighs> he chose hell itself. Those tablets didn't take his pain away. But they will, however, make yours worse. Let me go. You know I have to complete my ritual. I wonder what it would be like to suffer complete paralysis. To be alive on the inside, but with no movement. Like a... like a... a waking coma.
Basically, I, I wake up. Well, my mind wakes up, but my body is still asleep. So I, I'm, I'm sort of stuck and I, I can't move. And how do you know you're not still dreaming? Well, because I've awoken. Well, my mind is awake, but my body is sort of left behind. And I, I feel like I'm stuck in this in-between zone. Yeah, I, uh, I think you're probably still in a dream. Right. Okay. I, I just want to know what it is. I don't like it. I went to the doctor. She said it's nothing. Nick, I don't know what it's like. I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm up. I need to pee. No, I'm not up. Come on. Get up. Get up. Nick, are you awake? Nick, I'm talking to you. I'm not breathing. I can't breathe. Wake up! Move your arm. Move your arm. I'm up. I'm awake. I'm up! For fuck's sake, Angela, wake up. Hello? Nick? Why are you up? Just needed some water. You feeling all right? I had that thing again. I need to go over this. Oh, fuck off, Nick. Excuse me? You're talking to me like I'm making things up. No, I'm not. Just think you've got a very vivid imagination. Ooh. Are you really awake? Or do you only think you're awake? I'm awake. How do you know for sure? Funny. My Ricky had it. It's called sleep paralysis. Really? Totally harmless, feels like you're being strangled. Yes. Like someone's pressing down on you and you can't move your body exactly. at all. Exactly. Are you sure it's harmless? Yeah. I'll email this all over to you. It's based on low melatonin levels or high levels or something. I'd love to see it. They used to think that it was the devil visiting you or a spirit or something like that. Comforting. <laughs> so you're feeling better? Much better. And it's totally harmless and lots of people suffer from it. And there's lots of things I can do, like I can relax and I can wiggle my big toe to wake myself up, all sorts of things. It's fine. So you can go back to worrying about normal things? <laughs> Car crashes, cancer... Precisely. <laughs> Why am I awake at this hour? Hmm, I need some water. Okay. Okay. Wiggle, big toe. Wiggle. Hello? Toe? Body? Hello, anyone? You saw the website. Wiggle the toe. Move! What the hell was that? Oh, God. Nick! What's that noise? Who is that? Who is standing there? Who is that? Who are you? Stop it! Stop touching me! Stop! Help! Wake up, Angela! Wake up! Wake up now! I can't breathe. Help me. Wake up! 
do something. Oh my god! Oh my god, what? Nick, I'm scared. I'm really scared. What is it? They were here. Who? I don't, I don't know. Oh, Jesus. Breakfast. It's 4 a.m. Oh. You look like shit. Thanks. Are you okay? Last night was the scariest night of my life. Sleep paralysis? Yep. Unbelievable. You've read the websites, right? It's harmless. I know. It's just some of the things that happened were really real. I'm sleeping down here tonight. What? I've got an important meeting in the morning. I can't have you waking me up with your shit. <laughs> My shit? You know what I mean? Your nightmares. Nick, these aren't nightmares. It's sleep paralysis, a condition. I love how you self-diagnose over the internet and you're so certain that you're right. <sighs> Actually, you're right. You are sleeping on the sofa. Am I breathing? Did I wake up? Nick? You there? Who is that? Nick, stop touching me. Nick! You're strangling me. Stop! Stop breathing. Stop. Help. Wiggle your toe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but wake up. You scared the crap out of me. Look. Jesus. How did you do that? It happened in my sleep. Shut up. Okay, it happened whilst I was snowboarding. You fall out of bed or something. Oh, forget it. It just felt so real, like someone was there. Like a spirit, an evil spirit. And it stabbed you? I don't know. It... I just felt a presence and then a jolt, like a really big twitch, and I knew that it had happened, and then when I finally woke up, it was real. Okay. You don't get to sleep anymore. <laughs> Never again. I guess it's just one of those things. Maybe I did just fall off the bed. <laughs> Nick. Wake me up. Nick! Wake me up! You need to wake me up right now. I'm not breathing. I am not breathing at all. Angela? 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 Jesus. Angela! Angela! Fucking hell. Angela! Angela! Sometimes the shining light is there to lead us. So, do you want to take this path, priest? We all dream, but for some, dreams cross over into reality.
nightmares. Yeah, at my age. Perhaps if you told me the um, contents of your dream. It's really embarrassing. I'm at my work office and I'm walking down this open plan corridor and I'm surrounded by all these desks and my colleagues start stopping what they're doing and staring at me and, and some of them start laughing and I just don't know why. And then I look down and realise I'm completely naked. That's a very common dream. Yeah, but it's the same every night. It's like the answer to my dream is the other side of the office, but I always wake up before I get there. My boyfriend thinks I'm really weird. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all right now. Yeah, you've got to stop doing that. You know I like it. I'll call you tomorrow, yeah, if I get a chance. Lucy! Oh, I was listening to that. Listening? It's loud enough for our neighbours to be dancing to it. God knows what they think of us. Well, you. What's wrong? What's right is what you should have said. It's a Saturday. Why can't you just relax? It is the weekend, you know. I told you I had to work. You don't even have a job. I do. Working at the supermarket? That's not a job. Anyway, you only do two days a week. No. No. That's it. It's fucking over. It has been for a while. See you after closing time. I think you've got memory gaps. Tell me about your dreams. It's like I'm trying to get to the end of the corridor, but this bright light keeps stopping me. Have you ever been hypnotised? No. Concentrate on the sound. Relax. And what I want you to do is to start from the beginning of your dream. Typical, yeah. Yeah, just typical. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck you. Alright, it's just a game of football. Hello, mate. Yeah. Yeah, I'm alright, just watching the football. I'm outside. Under the rain. The heavens. Still ignoring me then.
definitely want me. see you, Lucy. I've had the ability as a child. <laughs> no one else can. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice, nice. But bring it out into space. Find the space. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, typical. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck you. You know, I still think it's too soon. I think she may have done this because she found out about us. She's gone. Yeah, I guess. Do you hear that? There's nothing. What, do you think she's come back? fear. You are nearing the end of your journey. Although you may find the next installment rather disturbing.
here. Here she is. Give me here. Give me here. Come here. Claire. Claire. Andrew. Do something. Claire. Claire. This is my daughter. This is my daughter. How many times have I told you not to do that? Now, have you got a message for me? Yes. Mum said breakfast is in the dog if he don't come in right now. Oh, she does, does she? That dog eats better than I do. Well, go on, then. Carol, I'll be a log and chicken. <laughs> Andrew, you promised me. You promised us. What? I can't have a drink at my own house anymore. Let's just talk about this. What's the point? Andrew, what's going on? Look, I didn't think it would get this far. I thought I could sort it. I don't understand. I thought the bank had agreed to an extension on the mortgage. Yeah, they did. So... Change their minds, do they? What? No. No, they can't do that. Well, they did. Shit. Wait a minute. This letter's dated two months ago. Andrew, this letter is dated two months ago. Tell me this is a mistake. <laughs> this is a mistake. They tried. So how long have we got? Were you going to tell me about this? Look. Oh. I thought we could sell the cat so we could pay off our debts. You know, the bottom mouth has killed us. We didn't need to know about the house. I mean, I'm the man of the house. I can't sort fucking problems out You're myself. Oh, yeah, You're fucking yeah, certifiable. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How long have we got? Andrew, how long have we got? 
14 days. Two weeks. Two fucking weeks. The bank repossessed on January the 2nd. 14 days. I don't know. Probably only 30 days. <laughs> January the 2nd. Oh, happy new year to us. saying that this isn't over. This is just the beginning. The beginning of what? The beginning of the end. Fleming. Ah, oh, Father Doyle. You must tell me the truth, Mr. Fleming. The truth? It is no coincidence your family was chosen. The cattle, the weather. You saw your daughter die, and now she is resurrected. Uh, we, uh, we must have missed something while we were trying to revive her. I mean, I'm no doctor. Are you? I am a medic of the faith, and what has happened here is beyond even the most brilliant mind. No doctor could have saved her. That's my daughter. Look, I know my own daughter, and that's her. She rests in her room safe for now. But for how long? What brought her back to you was not the work of the Lord. It is coming. I witnessed an immense power with an overwhelming desire for revenge. Revenge for a terrible act, Mr. Fleming. They are coming for you. God save us. God save all our souls. <laughs>
Faithless as you demanded! 